Before last night's matchup, both the Avs and Jets were a combined 21-1-1 when leading after the second period. So it came as no surprise that they would need an extra frame to settle the score. And less than a minute in, it was all over thanks to one of the Avs' most likely heroes. Hello everyone, Alexis Perry here back with another Denver Post Sports Minute. Game 2 of Colorado's five-game homestand was a Central Division collision with the Winnipeg Jets, who, like the Avs, are finding success this year thanks to a roster loaded with young talent. While Winnipeg would strike first, rookie Alexander Kerpa buried the rebound off a shot from Nathan McKinnon on the power play to even the score at one apiece with less than seven minutes left in the first period. Then, a little over midway through the third, down 2-1, to one, Avs blue liner Nikita Zadorov threw a wicked wrister right at Connor Hellebuck from the top of the slot for his third goal of the year and the equalizer. A scoreless second half of the final frame would bring us to some three-on-three -three overtime hockey. And if you're like me and get notifications on your phone when the Avs score, then you may have been a little confused when it said McKinnon scored the OT winner 29 seconds in, only to get another notification saying that he did the exact same thing 30 seconds later. Nope, that wasn't a glitch. Nate's first goal was called off after Tyson Berry was ruled offside on the play, but that didn't stop McKinnon for getting his second overtime game winner of the season. Well, third, kinda, as he sniped one right past Hellebuck while on the man advantage. Avs get the two points and jump one point ahead of the Minnesota Wild, who now sit at the bottom of the best division in the league. Next up, Colorado will look for some redemption up against the Devils Friday night at the Pepsi Can after falling to New Jersey 4-1 in game number two of the season. For more from the Denver Post Sports Desk, be sure to follow me on Twitter at Alexis Ray Perry.